Hi everybody, today I've got a pair of Nike Air Max 1 IDs. These are the premium Pendleton IDs from 2016. Basically, um, Nike had this option and then they removed it you know, after you know, a good few months and then they brought it back. The first time round I made four Pendletons and then when they brought it back I made another four. So this is, I think, the fifth one I made. No, the sixth one. This is pair number six. The other five are already on my channel somewhere. You'll go find them if you want to watch them. Um, so yeah, let's just have a little butchers of what we've got here. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's alright still. It's all, it's alright still. The mud guard, sorry, the midsole looks a bit dusty. But anyway, hold up. Let me just get the next one out. And just shut this box. That's probably the most boring part of the video when I do that. But anyway, okay. Wow, straight away, man, that black denim. It just like shows, I mean, obviously like this bright colour shows, but like, I like the black denim. Okay then, let's see, what do we have here? <laughs> oh, my days. These are not too shabby. Hmm, okay. So, let's just start with the underlay. Um, it is a Pendleton wool, and it's... The actual black is called like Amatilla or Umatilla, maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, I don't know, but that's the actual um, you know, shade of black, whatever. And it, it's proper soft, mate, like Pendleton, yeah man, they know what they're doing when it comes to wool. It, it, these are soft, like cosy, cosy is the word. The quarter, yeah, I went with a black denim, and I'm glad I did. Because I had I just gone for like a black um, Pendleton quarter as well, it would have just been like too solid. At least this way, you know, the quarter shows up differently from the underlay. And it just definitely adds a lot more to the shoe. I went with a Pendleton mudguard. Um, this pattern, it's called Big Thunder, a multicoloured. They also had, I think... I think it was black and white version of this, like grayscale. But yeah, this is obviously the multicolored version, Big Thunder. And yeah, man, it's, it's like little arrows like pointing down and whatnot. I don't know, just madness. Um, we just caught a glimpse of my ID there. I'll show you that later. And then obviously because it's Pendleton, you've got this little tag here that says Pendleton. I made a few well, a few, I made like, I think, one or two, at least two IDs that didn't have any Pendleton on them. They were Pendleton IDs, but without the Pendleton. So then, on those circumstances, um, under those circumstances, this tag wasn't there, because obviously I didn't use Pendleton. But that's cool, still. Um, the swoosh, I chose to use a waxed canvas. And this is a light British tan. I didn't use any leather on this shoe, which is kind of rare, like, I'm pretty sure like, I put leather somewhere on like, all of my shoes, it's just the way it goes, but yeah, there's no leather on this, which is cool, like, you know, it's a little bit different from my others, so, I like that. Uh, the lining, again, it's that big thunder. I wanted to use the same, like, pattern on the mudguard as well as the lining. They had, like, a, they had a few other multicoloured um, patterns, like Pendleton patterns, but I wanted it to be the same. That's just how I liked it. And I'm, um, yeah, I'm pleased with it. The laces are a solid light British tan. Because I wanted it to contrast with, not contrast, but even like go with the swoosh. So it would like just bounce off it. And also the eyelet is the same, but it's it, it's more like copper, like look, you can see it like reflecting, it's not like just a standard like dull plastic, so it's kind of like, yeah, it's like copper, I would say, aluminium even. Um, the 
The midsole is a black lunar midsole. Like I said earlier, mate, it looks dusty, doesn't it? But I don't know. Um, yeah, I went with a black lunar because I don't know. It just gave it like an extra little, you know, little twist to a shoe. I I looked at the OG. You know, I played around with the OG black, the OG white, the OG uh, OG silver. I swear. But um, yeah, I don't know. This just for me, it worked well. I didn't want any speckles on his shoes. I do like speckles, but not this time. Not on this pair. I wasn't. I wasn't feeling the speckles. I think it just it took away. It, it distracted from this mud guard and the lining. So that's why I think I didn't go with the speckles this time round. The outsole is a gum and. Um, it's kind of like two tony because it's a lunar midsole. Had it been an OG midsole, this just would have been solid gum. But because it's lunar, you got this little thing going on and this little thing. I do like an outsole like this as opposed to just a solid one. You know, it's got like a bit more going on too. And the reason I chose gum is because it kind of plays off the laces and the swoosh and the eyelet. So it just kind of, you know, it adds. It adds something to the shoe. Okay, and my ID, hold up, before I do the ID, the tongue, again, it's gonna be Pendleton because of the underlay. It's that, again, I'll, I'll say it wrong maybe, I'm a tiller, you a tiller, whatever. Something tiller, yeah, black. And um, the, what's the tag like? I haven't even seen it. Yeah, you got a black leather, <laughs> shame, black leather, like, tag, like, stitched in, Nike, is it it's hard to think with, like, one hand and whatnot, but, yeah, Nike, Air Max, and the insoles, of course, are going to be a standard black Nike ID, you've all seen them before, um, my ID on the back, if I can just get this to stay up for a second, hold up, it is... Get lost. Ha! Ah, nice friendly message for the community. Yeah, and um, I chose um, this light British tan again because you know it just bounces off around the shoe. Strategically placed, so that's why I chose that color. Otherwise, I would have had to choose maybe. But you know what? I could have chosen any one of these colors if I'm honest with you. I could have chosen black, but black wouldn't have shown up. So I couldn't even have chosen that, you know what I mean? Well, something similar to that. But now, nah, mate, I was happy with that choice. Get lost in that light British tan. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm all right with the shoes, you know. I'm not saying they're banging, banging, but, you know, they're all right. You know, I like all my Nike IDs, you know. I spend a lot of time on them, like a lot, a lot of time. So... Yeah, I'm alright with them. They're, they're okay, but not one of my better pairs, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just like, you know, I don't know, too critical or whatnot, but yeah, they're okay. I've done better. Um, the laces, I'll probably leave the laces in. I often do change the laces, but I might just leave the laces in unless I just throw in some mad, like, pink or purple. Yeah, or like yellow, something. One of these colours, just pick one and just like throw those laces in but listen i'm pretty much done with this unboxing so tell me what you think i would love to hear your comments uh, rate comment and subscribe my instagram is footwear in the fridge check that out if you want if not it's cool it's cool and yeah i'll see you lot next time all right i got two more pendletons coming up and i've like i said i got like another five on my channel so check them out if you want all right all right take care everyone see you later bye yeah so i'm back basically i went with the black laces black wasn't even an option i was thinking of doing some colored laces whatnot but i tried a few laces out and i went with the black option i just thought i'd add this bit onto the end of the video just to show you what it looks like now but yeah so there you have it okay see you lot later bye